Flying tries to get to Metz. It's poked away, but the Demons do maintain it. Watt, Hale will bounce off the near boards. It's now for Lavia. Petriello with that help. Metz to Petriello. It's in! Yeah. We're tied at one! Petriello with the redirection. That's what happens when you put the puck on the net. That's what you need to be having. You never know with these lucky bounces. And Petriello able to get a, get a piece of that, and that's what she caused, and caused misdirection. You never know where that puck's going to end up. And, um, and the uh, Demons are beneficiaries, and they tie this game finally. Petriello with his 20th goal on the season has tied the game up at 1. 16.59 left to go in the second period. On the ice, he's A-OK. -okay. Shoes it over for Mafus. Mafus to Petriello. And it's a Mafus! Mafus it. just gave Dayton the first lead tonight. Two to one, your score. And that is a span of about 46 seconds between goals. Attack the net, attack the net, attack the net, and look what happens. Two goals in 43 seconds, and Ahmed Mafus, beneficiary of being right in the right place at the right time. 42 goals now for Mafus. That's tops on this Demon squad. And playing his voice second game, that's an average of a goal a game for number 19. Two to one Dayton, 16-13 left to go in the second. The Demons have two unanswered against the black and gold. There's Jason Hill, one dasher to beat. There's Satala, he whiffs it. Tough pull for Satala. He had an open shot on Dundevich and trying to dump it in. There's Jason Hill, Got and it. it's in for Jason Hill. His first goal on the night, and Dayton leads three to one. That was great pressure. Great pressure to be able to put that in. And you just keep throwing it. You just keep throwing it at the net. And Dundevich just couldn't, you know, when you got that much pressure on it, you just, you can't stop them all. And Hill, coming off his hat trick last night, finds another goal today. Demons up by two. Well, actually, it's, according to the scoreboard, it's a half zero, but that's all right. It's, th it's, it's, three, to, it's three to one. It's <laughs> right parentheses. Yeah, for, you know, halfway, per, or a bracket, a backwards bracket. That's a, There you go. Well, if you look at the right side of the score. And Levier have been... Uh, mixed into these lines and it's they they've found the combinations and they've they've been working well um they kind of broke up that hill felton metz line there's petriello one to his side petriello it. dives it in petriello with his second on the day and it's now four to one demons great great pick up to fight petriello on the blue line and go go right in on contested that's this wide open play. These demons like this wide open play. They try to find those guys lurking around the blue line and when they're open, they'll find them. And then they go right in uncontested. And great stuff from the demons to look at, to push that puck when they needed to do so, to push it up um, into the attacking zone and move forward. And it's working well and they're now up by three. End of the second period as Barton lands the puck in his left glove as Petriello picks up his second goal today. That would be his 21st on the season. That ends our second period. Dayton Demons jump out to a four to one lead over the Danville Dashers. Great momentum. Cox skates fast. He's got three Demons to beat. He'll circle around. It's off a Demon picked up by Petriello. Five seconds remain. And it looks like Petriello lets it go by him. And that's the final. Your final score tonight, the Dayton Demons four and the Danville Dashers zero, or one. Let's try that again, Dayton Demons four, Danville Dashers one. Yeah, great effort from the, from the Demons. A really good second period. <coughs> I think the big, you know, the big difference was the four unanswered goals. You know, Danville scoring first, but just could not find any more offense. And I, I really attribute a lot of that, not to lack of effort. It was definitely to uh, Aaron Barton. I have to give him a lot of credit. He played really, really well and kept those boys, kept these boys in it. 
41 <laughs> saves by Aaron Barton as the team skates to center ice and acknowledges their fans like they've been doing all season. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, you have to give a lot of credit to Barton. I think he really had a, uh, a really tremendous game. So that was uh, really good of, good of him to uh, be able to make that happen. So, you know, and you know, good, you know, good offense from the boys. Um, a four goal second period was the difference and uh, they needed to wake up and go from there. So, so we'll yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll get to so we'll get to come back here on uh, Sunday. We'll get the on the seventeenth. We'll get to see these uh, see this matchup. This will actually be the next game that we have. Will be this matchup. So, but uh, great win for the boys. We'll be back. We'll tell you the stars of the game. Get you a final recap of today's game, and we'll get you some scores as well. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Again, your final today: Dayton four, Danville one. Oh yeah, stars of the game. Dayton Demons defeat the Danville Dashers by a score of four to one tonight. I'm joined by the coach. It's Mark Lafay. How are you doing tonight, coach? Uh, great. We had a great weekend. Great uh, performance thing tonight, uh, top to bottom. So uh, you know, 12 wins in a row. What can, more can you say? 12 wins in a row indeed as the Demons knock off the Dashers. And the second period, four goals scored by the Demons, two by Nick Petriello, one by Ahmed Mahfouz, and one by Jason Hill. It was a good night for those four gentlemen, and Aaron Barton really, really had 60 minutes of outstanding goaltending tonight. He made some great saves. You know, he faced over 40 shots. Uh, you know, we're confident in him in case something happened to Rosie. And, uh, you know, I'm not afraid to put him in there. Um, you know, I think you need two goalies that can get the job done, and he proved that tonight. Now, what are some of the things the team can work on after this game? Um, I mean, there's always stuff to work on. I think our defensive zone, but, you know, it's hard for me to harp on that. We've only given it one goal in two games, so it's uh, – but everything, and, you know, all zones, you can always improve on stuff. You know, good stuff. You always got to keep working and improving on everything. Next game is on the road at Thousand Islands, Watertown, New York. Valentine's Day. Privateers versus the Demons. Then a couple more road games, and then we're back home in seven days. It's the same Danville Dashers. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're either going to be playing Thousand Islands or Danbury if we make it to the final. So those are two buildings we got to win in. Uh, they're going to be tough, uh, tough buildings, but uh, you know we've won in there all year. And expect to win there again. Now, coach, it was a nice Sunday afternoon. Fans are still around. They're getting autographs uh, a couple of feet away from us. Another nice showing by the Demons, uh, Demons faithful. Yeah, I mean it, we've had uh, you know great support all year. There's, there's a hardcore uh, fan base here, and they, you know they haven't had a winner here in a long time, and I think they're excited uh, that they finally have a first place team. Dayton Demons defeat the Danville Dashers 4-1. to And, Coach, as always, thanks for your time, okay? Thanks, Lee. Appreciate it. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Here with Aaron Barton, the winning goalie tonight for the Dayton Demons. And the home team defeats the Danville Dashers 4-1. to How are you doing tonight, Aaron? Great. Feeling good after that win. It's a good victory for you. Over 40 saves for you tonight against the uh, Dashers. How did you feel on 60 minutes on the ice? I actually felt really well. I uh, seen the puck really well, nice and square to the shot. Uh, I got to give all my compliments to to the boys out front, though they're making uh, making shots easy for me. So, great second period for the Demons offense. Two four goals uh, by three different Demons, and you only allow one goal in the first period, and the rest out of here. So, when you're a goalie for the Dayton Demons, what do you focus on when you're on the ice? Um, well, if we're scoring goals like we usually do, it's kind of tough because you got to keep your keep your mind into the game. Um, other than that, in a game like this, it's pretty easy to stay into it with, like you said, 40, 43 shots or something like that. So, yeah, just try and stay focused and wait for the next shot. Now, how do you like playing here at Hare Arena in Dayton, Ohio? You know what? I love it. The fans are incredible. The boys in the locker room are amazing. Coach is awesome. I can't complain one bit. Now, he did say about the coach was awesome, but... What makes you like playing under Coach Lefebvre? Uh, you know, he's just a great guy and gives me the opportunity to play, so how can I not? 
So that's Aaron Barton. He records the win against the uh, Danville Dashers, 4-1. to one. Now, if there's um, any young people that are trying to be a goalie and they watch this video, what's some advice you can give them to work on? You know what? It's all about angles. Just stay square to the puck and square up. Aaron Barton, thank you for your time, all right? Thank you. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network.